What's good? What's good? This is Steeker. This is Steeker the podcast. Hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love and support. Hey, mi gente, como estamos? Buenos días, buenas tardes. Ya tú sabes how I give it up. You already know what it is, man. Hey, man. There are times when I, I'm going to say this again. There are times where you have to get away from the business and kind of get your your mind right. You, you don't know what's going on. Your mind's cluttered. You got so many things going on. And you say, man, I want to be entertained. I want to go, go check out a movie. I want to watch some sports. Hey, I want to go kick it with some friends. Do You know, do the things that you got to do. And sometimes it's okay to take a break. I, I look, look, I'm not going to judge you if you take a break. Just don't take a long break. Because some people, when they take a break, they'll be like, bro, I'll see you two weeks from now. Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, bro? Hey, we're not here to take a long break like that. We need to get back on the grind. So I can give you a day. Hey, look, I ain't tripping. You get a day for yourself. But, you know, there's seven days seven days out of the week. So one day it ain't going to hurt. But you talking about two weeks, I'll be like, bro, let's get back to business. Hey, and y'all probably like, man, get to the point, my boy. Ah. Uh, my goodness, man. Oh, I can't believe this, y'all. I just cannot believe this. Boxing. I love me some boxing. I like him when he don't say, got on chingazos estos cabrones. And I'm in, bro. I'm in. I'm, I'm standing up. I can't even sit down when I watch a boxing fight. But however, Earl Spence Jr., Terrence Crawford, Bud Crawford, they're probably going to do the rematch. Uh, what's his name? Earl Spence activated the rematch. And respectfully, I, I like Earl Spence. He's from Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas. He's from Texas. Man, we love our, 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 our native. We love, we love, we <laughs> about to say native. I don't know why I'm about to say that, but we love our, our, our home star heroes in a way. You know, I don't know if he's a hero, but we love, if it ain't to come from Texas, man, we, we vibing with it. We going all the way in. Except for Charlie, you know, <laughs> no, no, but uh, we we support it a hundred percent. However, and I mean this respectfully, I ain't trying to disrespect nobody. Earl, let it go, bro. I mean, that hello, let it go. The only thing about that fight was missing is him knocking you out. I I didn't like that fight at all. He disrespected you. He violated you. He smacked you around. He looked at you. He looked at the crowd and said he ain't. Sh he was just too disrespectful. In that ring, Bud Crawford was a different kind of beast that day. And he's probably like that naturally all the time. Because I have seen him fight several times. And nah. What, 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 what does Superman have? That crypto, whatever they call it, you know, kryptonite. That, you know, you met your match, bro. Let it go. You should not be entertaining a rematch because I don't want to hear about no weight. I know, you know, you might say, you know, he was drained a little bit. You signed a contract. I don't want to hear that you were drained. I don't want to hear no excuse. Not from you directly. I hear the people around you. And then Charlo talking about he got hit with the rabbit punch. He didn't get hit with the rabbit punch intentionally. Your boy Earl, our boy Earl, was coming in there con la cabeza first, all the he didn't, we, we wasn't doing the dodge and the weed. He wasn't doing none of that. He was just coming in here first. So when you clocking him with a hook, you might get hit with something. But why is it that boxing now? I think Polly Majanani, whatever he, I don't know how I ever say his name, but Polly, I'm going to drop that link in my description. He says something very important about boxing. Why is it that these boxers are entertaining rematch claws? What if the fight doesn't go like you expected? Like this this one specifically, Earl Spence versus Bud Crawford. Why? Are you not that confident? No tiene la confianza, no tiene los huevos, cabrón. That you don't feel like you're going to win this fight convincingly? That you have to entertain a rematch in there? That, uh, I think I'm hearing that Anthony Joshua and, uh, Anthony Joshua and Wilder are, are about to do the fight. And they already put a rematch. Come on, man. Come on, man. You can't make this up. There ain't no reason why these elite fighters are entertaining rematch rematches way before the fight even happens. Like, is that how boxing used to be back in the days? The only smart person that I know that did that was Mayweather with Oscar De La Hoya. When, when, when they fought, and it was a close fight, there was a rematch clause. And Mayweather retired. And he said, I'm not going to entertain it. You know, yeah, boy, mm -mm, I can't. I, it was too close for a fight. He didn't entertain the rematch clause. So, 
Maybe it started with Mayweather. So the undefeated champion probably started that. But uh, the way he just... The way he just broke it down, bro, I didn't like that at all. And I don't think that you need to fight him again. If he come out with Eminem, hijo la chingada, bro. I hate you, Eminem. I hate you. Hate you, cabrón. I hate you, Stan. Oh. No. I, if, 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 if Bud Crawford, y'all fight at a different weight class, and y'all probably will, at this point, it's just a money grab. Put on the ski mask. Put on the gloves. We robbing the bank again. Cause not 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 we're not robbing the bank literally. I'm just saying in boxing, just calm down. I don't I don't I don't condone y'all robbing banks. Don't do that. I had a homeboy that was doing that. We didn't even know he was doing it. And next you know he got caught. He's doing time. No, we're not doing that. But um, yeah, I just don't see a different outcome because it's really not about the weight. It wasn't about the weight, it was about the skill, the sweet science of boxing, the way Crawford moved, mm, hit him with that little clean shots. He was just so precise and focused. He was laser focused. And I hear people, he'd be like, oh, he's all in his head. Nah, man, I don't, I don't see Crawford all up in his head. He's a devoted, you know, he's a, he's a person that wakes up, goes to the gym, boxes about, 20 rounds before he eats lunch. He boxes one last time. He eats the lunch. After that, go back to boxing. Before he calls it a night, he's still boxing. Before he goes to sleep, he's still boxing. He, it, it, on the way to his house, he's thinking boxing. That man is boxing 24-7. What, what was Earl Spence doing after that brutal defeat? What was he doing? He was somewhere... In, in the Bahamas, enjoying his time with, with this little, you know, he was he had a female friend, let's just say that. But I didn't see him in, in training already. I didn't see him laser focused. He was enjoying the fruits of his labor. And respectfully, you could do whatever you want. But I just don't see it. You coming into another rematch with this monster in front of you. And you're saying, hey, we're going to do this again. It ain't going to be, look, if he beats you the way he beat you, a second time, I would highly recommend retirement should be the next conversation. I highly recommend that. I'm not here to tell you what to do. You do whatever you want to do, but you could have took a warm, you know, you could took, you should have entertained the fact, let me go ahead and warm up for another fight. Let me see if I still got it. Because you know what Khabib said one time? And then I know Khabib is not in boxing. I know that. Don't start that. But he said one critical thing that has not went, it, it, it has happened, and then the outcome has not changed. When a fighter takes that kind of beating, because you got beat, the only thing was missing was a clean knockout, but you got beat. You got destroyed. Your confidence, you go, you, you're asking yourself, what am I doing in here? Khabib said that that fighter never come back comes back the same he don't and we've seen it time and time again a fighter that gets beat that bad i mean i'm talking about it, it was remember what justin gagey did to tony ferguson he has not been the same what bud crawford did he exposed earl spence what he is now we're not talking about earl spence before the accident we're talking about earl spence now he broke him down. He picked him apart. He fought a different kind of way. He It just shows you they're just on two completely different planets. They're just not in the same level anymore. So I, for me, I just don't want him. I, I, I need to see him fight somebody else. When I think about like a Ronda Rousey, right? Ronda Rousey should not fight Amanda Nunez. He should have got a little warm up fight. Because she got beat bad by Holly Holmes. In boxing, we have seen it time and time again. When a fighter gets beat really, really bad, Deontay Wilder, uh, the second time, not the first time, because the first time was very close, but the second time when Tyson Fury beat the brakes off of you, Tyson Fury put a clinic on you. He, oh, he destroyed you. I was so mad that he, that he did that. But that's not here there. What happened the third time? Yeah, it looked good. It looked good. Yeah, but 
You wanted to go out like that? And Tyson Fury made it a point. Don't worry about it. Your wish is my command. And you cannot be him. And that's what I feel like with this one. Earl Spence, I don't feel like you could be him just yet. Get you a tuna fight. Get you somebody else that just get that confidence back in you. Get that swagger back in you. Because we need to see the, the old Earl Spence. We need to see him in there. I don't want to see him after the accident. I want to see him before the accident. Like, you got to put him in there with somebody you can say, he's going to be competitive, but we got to build him back up. But you want to go in there with this monster again. Hijo la chingada, cabrón. Why? Look, I'm sorry to say this. He's not winning that fight, y'all. I don't care who he come out with. He could come out with Tupac, the, the hologram. Earl Spence is not winning that fight, man. I'm sorry he's not. I, I just don't see it. He did not give me nothing in that fight that made me say, hey, he could beat Crawford. He did not give me nothing. I was upset. I was looking at the crowd. Everybody was sad, depressed, crying. I went to the strip club afterwards, and I was just like, what am I doing here? I went in there for five minutes and got right back out because all that energy was out completely out the door. So I suggest don't rematch this guy just yet. Give it, get... Give yourself one more fight before you fight him. Because look, Bud Crawford already has it in mind that he wants to fight Charlo or Canelo. Let him do whatever. Let him, look, let him fight somebody that Pike could give him a little bit of a challenge and then entertain the rematch, man. Better no. Who knows? Because I think the rematch has like a certain amount of time that you have to say, yes, I accept it. But that's here. Not that. Look, man, I wish Earl Spence Jr. nothing but the best, man. But you going against a monster. Este cabrón hijo la chingada, man. Yeah. Do me a favor. Let me know what y'all think. Should Earl Spence and Bud Crawford fight again? Y'all let me know. But for right now, subscribe to the channel. Si te gusta lo que mira, press like. Share this video on your social media platforms. Drop a comment in the comment section. I'm always interacting with me, gente. Ya tu sabe. Hit the notification bell to get notified. Visit the website r2drec.com. And always remember, have peace in your heart. Have faith. And never give up. All right. One. What's good? What's good? Hey, this is Steeko. Hey, somewhere on here, there's a link to my music page. Y'all go check out the music. We got video, visuals. Uh, we got audio. Trust me, we got some dope music. When you get a chance, subscribe to that channel as well. The music is on there. Hey, let's keep this rolling, man. Y'all know what it is, man. This is Steeko. All right, one.